For a fun-filled evening, <laughs> laughs in excitement and thrills all around. Tonight's featured guests will be the Varsity Cheerleading Squad. And now, let's have a warm welcome for our show's host, John, Mr. Spontaneous Wall. <laughs> Christmas tuxedos today. Yeah. 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 Say Merry Christmas, everyone. Here. Merry, Merry Christmas, John. Let's get in the uh, festive spirit. We start off the Christmas bonanza with the top ten, presented by Andy Berger. As always, let's have a warm welcome for Andy Berger. <laughs> Andy also looking very festive yes. this evening. Yes. <laughs> little itchy garland. Anyway, our top ten for today, this week, is the top ten most sought after Christmas presents. All right, here we go. Get all this junk off. Number ten. Ten Lords of Leaping. Thank, thank you very much. Number nine. Yeah. A pair of Nike Air sandals. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> getting hot in here. <laughs> Warmer as we speak. Oh, it must be this garland. Number eight. A strand of Christmas lights that actually works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number seven. A fruitcake. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Nice nice fruitcake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number six. One of Mr. Hess's lovely ties. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Deafening crowd this evening. Yeah. <laughs> Number five. A real top ten reader. Hey, wait a yeah. second. Yeah! yeah. yeah. What is this? Yeah. Number four, some of that delicious popcorn. Number three. Number three. Number three. Elvis Presley's long life finally coming to an end. Number two. Hair. Oh, sorry, what do you that story? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and number one, a John Wall doll. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. So, uh, thank you, Andy. Christmas top ten. Boy, large crowd. Large crowd this evening. Very large crowd. Yes, very large. <laughs> large and silent crowd that doesn't pick up on the uh, mm -hmm. We have our fine arts correspondents in this evening. We will have <clears throat> Allison Berger and Barb Tarkowski, as I was going to say. And here they come. Let's have a warm welcome. Okay, um, tomorrow we will be having an all-school assembly, fifth hour, yeah. and, and with that, the band and the chorus are going to be performing, so everybody will get to see them, 
and it's free. free. It's for free. It's for free. It's that's absolutely free. In fact, you have to go to that You're forced one. to go to this. Uh, yeah, that's beyond free. Okay. Um, uh, this year's musical is going to be West Side Story. And even though it's not until March or something, tryouts are coming up January 2nd, the day we come back from school, from Christmas break. And they're from at, they start after school, and they go all the way till 8 o'clock at night. And each person has to do a dance, um, sing a song, and read a part of the drama in order to audition. And that's January 2nd, the yeah. auditions for that? And all the practices and rehearsals start the third, and they go on forever until <laughs> the performance. Okay. Is it? Uh, was there any other Christmas activities done by the choral department? Caroling, possibly? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we did uh, this past Tuesday night. The concert choir had a caroling party, and we um, we basically took names from people. They brought them in, like a like elderly people and people who can't get out and we go and sing to them. We sang a few songs and a group went to Sunnyland and a group went around Washington and then we came back and had a little party at the Commons, down on the Commons. Okay. So it was a lot of fun. And, uh, so basically a free concert? Yes, tomorrow, fifth hour. Big, big time free. Okay, well, yeah. thank you very much for coming out and giving us your information, Barb and Allison. <laughs> Okay, I found uh, in the deep files of video that we have. How deep are they? Uh, very deep, thank you. And uh, I found something very special. It was done a few years ago. It was a video clip made by Jim Tallman and his staff. Uh, uh, excuse me, I don't think so. Not yet. <laughs> he, he, a, a subtle stage cue. Not yet, it's not ready. I'm still trying to find the Cooking with Curry video. Oh, well. Spontaneous John. Uh -huh. Gigantosurgeons. Be spontaneous. Okay, so <laughs> moving on. Moving on, we will go to our gigantosurgeons who have a little bit of Blues Brothers for us tonight. Soul Man. Christmas music. Yes. Extreme. Very, very fun. John said not shut up, Mark. <laughs> Soul Man. Okay, we have tonight as our featured guests, uh, it is a tradition here on WCHS today to have the varsity cheerleaders, and tonight we have not one or two, but we have pretty much the entire squad. So let's have a warm welcome for our varsity cheerleaders. Find your room here on the couch, wherever. Well, I guess I'll sit over here. And we'll have a 
we're going to be killed. Oh, we're going to be killed. I'm with you, Dom. 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 Amy, sit on my legs. Get in there, Ray. Friendly group. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, John, for Christmas, I want to get your couch, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, uh, John, the hour. Since, uh, since we have so much, why don't you just go along and introduce yourselves, maybe tell what year you are. Carrie. Carrie, Jr. <laughs> Jill, Jr. <laughs> Beth, Jr. Jill, Sr. Andrea Jr. <laughs> Amy Jr. Gina Jr. Wendy Sr. Angie Jr. Nicole Sr. Okay, now I actually have a bunch of questions and I'll just throw them out and whoever wants to answer them, that's, that's, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, how, did, how did some of you get involved in cheerleading? How was... How did, grades, how did, grades, 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 grades. Most, all of you were in grade school you were yeah. a cheerleader? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were all in grade school. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, but that, that's not, uh, you don't have to be a grade school cheerleader. No. 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 It just so happens that you are. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, who is the, who's the sponsor for the varsity Ms. squad? Ms. Ben 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 and, and she's a new teacher? And Mrs. Yeah. Yeah, and Mrs. Hackett. Oh, now, do these people no. teach you the cheers and the no. choreography? Or? No. No. <laughs> they, they're simply your, they your sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Where do you learn your all your cheers and choreography? Make them up. Make them up. Yeah. Camp, camp, camp. You attend a camp in the summer? <laughs> yeah. Um, as a whole group then? Yeah. Yeah. We went to Rockford. <laughs> Rockford? Yeah. Now, are there other schools there at the same time, or is it just yourselves? No. No, there's like, there's like how many were there? About 50 squads. 50 squads. 50 yeah. squads. Yeah. 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 We got <laughs> first <laughs> and sidelines. What, what else? Well, yeah. We got second in dance. Yeah. So there was a little bit of competition. Oh, yeah. yeah. Was it a week long camp or uh, three days? Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. <laughs> um, well, can you tell me uh, more specifically what you learned? Cheers. Stunt <laughs> dances. There you Stunt. go. Yeah, pyramids. <laughs> Stunts. But it, is this just basically a time for you to work together <laughs> and yeah. no, and learn the stuff as a squad? The whole yeah, it's yeah. the first time you it's, ever yeah, do anything yeah. together, so and you're not argue. very good yet. So, I see. <laughs> I see. Learn to get along, then. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Did we learn that? We did pretty good this year. Is there a set number? Is there always a set number no. of how many cheerleaders? Okay. We are? have ten, but only eight can cheer out on the floor in basketball. <laughs> we used to only so yeah. But there is there is no limit to how many we can have. Well, yeah. Up until last year, there was only like seven. seven, and then they added two last year for, for alternates. No, I, I we just keep it expanding. It was a larger squad this year. Yeah, it is. Okay, now you said uh, for basketball, are you both basketball and football? Yes. yes. And this this may sound strange, but at what times do you perform? Is it uh, during halftime or? You alternate with the other team squad. So what, like during a timeout or a quarter, a quarter quarters? We're not performers. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We don't perform. <laughs> Starting this year, we, we don't perform anymore. We're getting the crowd involved. We get the crowd involved. We're not performing. Case y'all notice that if you guys go to the games, we don't. <laughs> we don't perform anymore. We like hold signs and try to get people to yell with us. You you've tried to do more modern. So yeah. Yeah. More <laughs> crowd in the past. For participation. You know, going out to entertain people, but. This year we've been trying to be more spirit leaders and involve the crowd. Well, I didn't. I didn't want to offend you by saying that uh, that you didn't perform because I know you also have to learn dance and craft yeah. kind of. So I just didn't want to offend you. With that, so. All right. Um, what are what are some of the things you've gotten out of being a cheerleader? Friends. Yeah. Friends. <laughs> Most important. Staying in shape. Yeah. Good, exercise. Good exercise. Good exercise. <laughs> if you could be a, a cheerleader again, would would you do it? No. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, not in, we not in farther than high school. school. Yeah. No, I think I'd do. I would. Yeah. I would. Like yeah. a, I would. Yeah. Do any of you plan to go on in college and be? No. Maybe. Eureka. No. <laughs> Eureka. Anyone else? I might try out. <laughs> Let's see. Worth a shot. Then. Yeah. 
I don't know what to do. <laughs> Did you have any questions, Mark? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark's, uh, Mark has no comment. <laughs> Have you had a, a decent year so far? Have you been able to get along? And no, nope. <laughs> except for our jackets. Yes, we, we have. Yeah, you we get along, along <laughs> but we can't wear these jackets because they're gang related. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yo, I see you. Yo, homie. <laughs> yeah. did, um, how how did you get these new uniforms? Did you decide on these on your own? No, the last school bought them for us. Yeah, last year. The school board did. Yeah. So they wasted their money. We had a fundraiser. Now we're not going to have it next year. Can't work. This is the yeah, last the interview. <laughs> no, it's really next year, and I bought all kinds of new uniforms. We don't get to wear them. That's a shame. <laughs> I'm taking Do you have a set number of juniors and seniors as well, so that no, you never run out? Or? No, there's, really. there's four, six juniors and four, four seniors. seniors. So just however it works out then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's better? Is it, <laughs> is it possible to... Um, are you automatically then when you're a senior a cheerleader if you were when you were a junior? No. No, no, no. you have a better chance of making it though. But not it's not necessarily. But there's Being still a tough senior. competition. <laughs> no. If, if you matter. score the same with a junior, they're going to pick the senior over the junior just because of age. And experience. Okay. Well, we thank you very much and for coming on and we hope that everyone gets a chance to go to a game or something to see you. Merry Christmas to you all and thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great music. You all right, Mark? I'm okay. Okay, Mark's all right. Tell my girlfriend gets holding me into the show. <laughs> Is she giving us dirty looks at this point in time? Yes, yeah, Carrie's cooking off stage. Though. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, glad you brought that up. We go right now to a video segment. We will have cooking with Carrie via, it won't be via satellite, but it'll just be on video. We'll admit it. So it's just on video. Uh, Hello, and here we are with cooking with Carrie and my grandma. And Carrie? Um, we're going to be making Christmas mints today. Christmas mints, yes. Okay. And we're fortunate that we have this. Because if we didn't, we'd have to mix our ingredients with our hands and eat it just as you would a bread dough. Okay. So it takes one, uh, two ounces of uh, uh, Philadelphia cream cheese and a cup of two-thirds of powdered sugar. Okay. And we have the cheese in here, and I'll dump in powdered sugar and let you mix that up. Okay. I've never made these before, so bear with me. You want to do interesting this? to do. Mark, Mark. Sure, If you want some help, I can have some fun though, Mark. Let me see if that's right. I've got a shot of bowl here. I think we could use a little more powdered sugar in there. Do you just put different colored food coloring in there? Yes, uh huh. And, uh, okay. Flavor you can taste. How are you like it? Okay. You did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> nice close up there. If you want a note card for this recipe, just write the high school here in care of Woody. Actually, Dr. Woody. <laughs> around and cover them with sugar here okay and I tell you it's all right just to lift the sugar up and just drop it on them too That's okay now what if you're sure it has enough sugar on just take one of those little uh, Christmas molds and press it in excuse me Christmas trees. Yes. But you have to make green Christmas trees. Santa Claus. I know, and we just didn't have time to make 
use all the colors that we would like to. Where is Santa Claus? Is he Santa Claus? You can just pick up these molds at Walmart or... I don't know Kroger, Mother Jones. Oh, I think you do know my Kroger, but I don't like Kroger. I like the little rubber molds, but we didn't have any Christmas rubber molds. Oh, yeah, you want to show them what the... Oh, yes, we can. Yes, where are they? Mm -hmm. Maybe? Catholic holiday, huh? Basic card designs. It doesn't want to come out sometimes. It's it very simple to make. Have, have plenty of uh, sugar on it. Do you have to like refrigerate these or anything? Or? Well, no, you don't. Um, but it's <laughs> enjoying to uh, make these several days before you use them, it's a good idea to put them yep. in. Yep. Cameraman thumbs up. In plastic bags so they won't dry out because they do have a tendency to get Okay, now what kind of flavoring did you use? In I this? used vanilla in these. But peppermint is nice to use. Oh, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. well, how many of these do you want us to make? Well, I think quite in this one here. Do you think you've done enough, made enough? Yeah. I guess it's all the cream that we carry this week. <laughs> well, but don't you want to put them up? Oh, oh okay. well, you stopped the camera. No, I oh, didn't stop it. it. <laughs> oh, Andy. <laughs> Andy having fun now. Yes. Yeah. And bring the green ones over, please, Mark. Yeah, we made some good. Well, the grandma made some green ones earlier. Yes. Oh. They don't need to know that. I just store these in the plastic bags of seam here. Not very nice. Well, we want them. Go ahead and set them on the tray. So put them on the tray. That was kind of lumpy. <laughs> you just got to knock yourself, Andy. Oh. Guess this is it for cooking with Carrie. So we will see you. And Mark's grandma. And Mark's grandma, could you with Jerry and Mark's grandma. And thank you, Grandma. And You're welcome. We will see you after Christmas. Well, that will be a happy day. Bye. As soon as Andy fades off the camera. Bye. It's so hot over here, I can't, jeez. It gets a little warm under these lights. Just be dreaming of Christmas. Uh, we have now the audience game. Yes, the audience game. Will the contestants please come up? Chris, Barb, and Allison. Some of our correspondents. Oh, our correspondents this evening. Correspondence night on. <laughs> okay. This is the WCHS Christmas trivia. Fill in the blank. Okay. I can do this. you know all how to play, right? Fill in the blank. Explain it to me. Right? Wait, you raise your hand to answer the question. You, know, you all understand that, right? You... Okay. Question number one. Blank white and the seven dwarves. Barb. Snow! Yes! <laughs> all right, yeah! Hey, Barb. Yeah! 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 Okay. Question number two. Blank had fallen. Blank had fallen. Blank on blank. <laughs> Allison. Snow. Yes. <laughs> hey, that makes it Barb one, Allison one, Chris nothing. That's nothing for Chris. On vacation. <laughs> Where's the sheepdog? On vacation. It's in the TV, Jim. It's on vacation in the TV. Okay, the next question. It came upon a midnight. Yes. Yes. Clear is the answer. Okay. Who got that? Me. Chris got that one piece. piece. Uh, okay. We go into the bonus round question now. This is worth four. 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 And the question is, 
point quest? Blank. The Red Nosed Reindeer. Chris. Rudolph. Yes! Oh. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> You're all ready. Final bonus round question. Everyone's ready. The excitement builds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Frosty, the blank. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It was, it was Barb. Was Snowman. Yes. Oh, oh no, we have a tie. We have a tie. A tie. A tie. A tie. I want popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, it's uh, we need a tiebreaker between uh, we have a tie Barb and Chris one. here. All right. No. A question from Dave. Oh, God. The question from Dave. Okay. One point question. Blank. Claws. Barb. 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 Santa. Yes. Oh, that gives the top three. Oh, recipient of the WCHS Big Pop Super Pop. In overtime. Popcorn. <laughs> In overtime goes to Barb Tarkowski. Let's have a round of applause for our contestants. Oh, Very funny. Very funny. Okay, now I think he is ready. We will show you a special video that uh, was made by Jim Tallman and his staff a few years ago. And it has uh, quite a few staff members, and about half of them aren't even here anymore. So if we could roll that video. A visit of St. Nicholas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their hair. And Mama and her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, the rose sets of clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the dew-fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. Wait, what? To my wonder I should appear? But I met your sleigh and ate a reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that, that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the horses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pulling on each little hook. As I drew in my head and was turning round, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bow. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkle, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and he filled all the stockings and turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team he gave a whistle, 
and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. like to say that I made that video, but I did not, and I, it's a very touching thing that, uh, you know, like I said, about half of those teachers no longer teach here with us anymore, so that was uh, our Christmas present to all of you. All right, we go now to the agenda, which says we have yet another video clip, but uh, I think I'll... Uh, I'll skip it, yes, I'll just skip it. Uh, if we could have everyone... Uh, Come on down and find a place here on the on the floor. Just kind of uh, make yourselves comfortable quickly, as quickly as possible, uh, in a quiet uh, manner, uh, fashion type of deal. Type of, uh, quietly and uh, quickly, and we'll all make it out breathing. Okay, we'll go to the Chris Christmas audience poll. Christmas audience poll. Everyone's attention, please. We all on here. It's right there. Okay, we go to the, the audience poll, and the question this week was, who do you think will come down your chimney on Christmas Eve evening and deliver all your presents? My John Bell. <laughs> Mark, you smell like Dave. <laughs> John. I guess. My cat. Jake. Yeah. Andy, the suave devil that he is. Uh, not. <laughs> Yet. Woody ringing a bell asking to donate uh, to his spelling fund? I don't know. To his toupee, to his toupee fund, yes. Uh, somebody, yeah. Let us see, John. Nobody, I don't have a chimney. I just don't have a chimney. How depressing. No chimney. I don't have one either. I don't have one either. Uh, I don't think anyone does anymore. Uh, Tom with his trumpet. Uh, down the chimney. Uh, a Woody look-alike, except Woody doesn't have any hair on his head. Uh, Jack Sherman. Now, that, that was, uh, no, no advertising. Dave, you smell like cheese. What in the world does that happen to me? I just don't know. One of those. What? Yeah. Hey, John, John. Never mind. No, it didn't have my name on it there. I don't know, but I'll be sure to have a fire ready for in the fireplace upon their arrival. I don't have a chimney, so I hope Santa Claus comes through my door. My back door. Because they've been good. Must have been a freshman. Santa has been delayed. Oh, he's been deleted from Christmas because because his taxes didn't pass. Oh. Oh. Just gonna have to cancel Christmas. Oh. Yeah. Let's hope we don't get in trouble for that. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to grease the sides for Woody's head in case he does come down. <laughs> Head first. Oh, this is P.S. Head first there. That was good. Uh, Jack and Sharon Sherman, oh, the, uh, the commercial gods. <laughs> Boy, do they do fine commercials. I, I'll never tell. <laughs> it said that. Woody, Woody and his chrome dome quartet. I don't know, Mark. Zam Fear, master of the pan flute. <laughs> Zamfir is becoming quite popular these days. Uh, Santa Claus and his bad elf Woody. Uh, the Colgate Wisdom Tooth. Uh, Vanna White with a small elf. 
I don't know. I just don't know. The Love God Woody. An Eskimo. Jim, we're really Jim. disgusting. Read didn't you, Jim? Jim, Jim we're really disgusting. Read it. 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 Read I don't know, but that's kind of a uh, personal question. Oh, By the <laughs> way, Dave, I like your tie. Dave has a nice Thank you. It's not a clip on. I'm Catholic. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Very fine answer. Santa Valdez and his eight donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Someone loaded it with, uh... Dave, you smell like cheese? No. <laughs> Mark, can you read that? I, uh... Spelling is... Uh, <laughs> someone, someone loves me, I guess. Uh, I know, no, John, that's not what it says. They know you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same thing, same thing. I don't know, but I hope, uh... It's blonde and, uh... <laughs> in the Madonna video. <laughs> I don't know, but Mark, I like your socks. Can we, can we get close the uh, chemistry <laughs> god with his uh, bag of exciting chemistry tests and worksheets. Oh yeah! With that winning smile. Uh, Mr. Hess and his five-man polka band. Second clue is Tom and his trumpet. <laughs> Uh, no, it cannot be. It's the new kids and Sorry. new kids on the block and uh, Millie Vanilli are their reindeer. They're pretending to be the reindeer. They dubbed in that. Ella <laughs> They're not really there. Ella McPherson, whoever that is. Maybe. You don't know who Ella McPherson is? A band of disgruntled sheep. <laughs> By the way, we love you. We control them. You nub me. Nub me some more. Hey, wait, wait, John. Okay. John. One more. John. One more. One more, John. The late entry from the band. Late entry. No, this was already. Oh. Already submitted. What a bummer. Okay, uh, if uh, we could start passing the old carol books around, we would like to sing Fish a few. Fish bike, back. <laughs> we would like to sing a few Christmas carols for you. I can't. Give me a carol. Hey. Just kind of pass them around. We can be careful with these and uh, share these. We don't have very many, and they're in very sad shape. So be very careful with these books. Whoops. They were donated by Mrs. Oak. Be nice with the books. Be and nice. try, not to, try not to be too loud because actually you are sitting on the microphones. Really, Jim? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, Nate. <laughs> okay, we have... We're going to start with... Everyone turn your book to number 39. Be careful with the books. Like I said, these are loan. This is a very fine song. Very fine. And uh, Rich, you can start it. Oh no way! Uh, someone, someone, pick a note here. Give us a, give us an E. Okay, would someone like to start us here? Mark, would you like to start us? Okay, Dave and I are gonna start us here. Here we come again. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. We wish you a merry Christmas. 
Oh, I like this one. I can sing this. We'll take uh, E flat on that one. E flat. Blocks. 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 Blocks.